<laughs> okay, go. Okay. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? It's Dan Boxing Blood back for another review. Uh, with me today, I have my roommate, Bill. Uh, so, the juice we're reviewing is uh, Bill's new juice. Um, he just got uh, a new box. This is the uh, Vaporesto Target. Uh, the older one, uh, from what I can assume, 75 watts. Um, and this is my crown, uh, my UL crown tank that I reviewed earlier. Um, and this juice that we're reviewing is by the Vapor Shop. It is called Do the Dew. Uh, it is a Mountain Dew flavored uh, vape. Uh, so it's supposed to be like the soda, like lemon lime. Uh, three milligrams of nicotine. Uh, we don't have pricing on this. Uh, we don't know how much of what he got, got it for free. Um, Same with the box as well. Yeah. Uh, so we're just going to uh, review it for you. Um, I'm sure they have it available on the website because it's certainly not a brand that I've heard before. Yeah. So this would most likely be um, on their website. Um, so that'll be something for you to look up. So we're going to be using the uh, UL Crown uh, hitting at um, 61 watts. Uh, to start, and this is a 0.5 ohm coil, so that's what we're going to be starting at, and um, yeah, it's just we'll give this a really quick review. So, uh, I've been trying this for a while, and I can definitely really just taste it on the exhale. Like you feel the bubbles, the carbonation almost of the Mountain Dew on the exhale. Um, Definitely. Yeah, like, um, the inhale, you can taste it a little bit, like, the lemon sticks to your tongue a little bit, but you definitely get the full Mountain Dew flavor yeah. on the exhale. You get a little bit of the lemon in the back of your throat as well, so it's a nice little touch. Uh, first starting out, uh, first dripping on a new coil, um, it was not as, um, the flavor was not as present as we wanted it to be. Uh, took a while, a little bit more breaking in the atomizer to really get the full sensation of it, uh, breaking in the coil, putting it up higher, because 0.5s you want to hit anywhere between maybe like 50 to 80 watts, something like that. Uh, so 61 is a good medium. Um, uh, it's definitely starting to come through a little bit more, I've been vaping it a little bit more. Um, uh, you taste more flavors before, but first coming on you definitely will always feel the carbonation of the flavor in the back. On the retro hill, you get uh, the same sensation out of your nose with a little bit of the lemon lime in the back of your throat. It definitely is a flavor that sticks to the back of your throat after the retro hill. Um, also some nice little uh, carbonation on that uh, aftertaste as well. It feels like like the actual bubbles of like a Mountain Dew soda, so. Yeah. Um, so let's just, we'll jump right into ratings for it. Uh, so we'll start with the, the size of the body that we get. Um, decent, right? Body is decent. Um, definitely not outstanding, but it is uh, by all means decent. Um, Definitely something around the six and a half to seven out of ten rating uh, for something like that. Um, the retro hail is definitely clean. Um, yeah. Uh, you get that full fizziness of the soda, look right out of your nose. Yeah. And you can still feel it in the back of your throat. <clears throat> um, it clears your sinuses. Yeah, clear. absolutely. Like. Um, if you can tell, the right side of my nose is congested. Um, Probably not, because this lighting sucks. Yeah, so you get a clean shot coming out of one nostril now. Um, but otherwise, it's definitely clean. Uh, the flavor, I'm going to go ahead and say the flavor is around the 7 or 8 out of 10, because it definitely does have that soda taste to it. Um, as for the lemon lime part of the Mountain Dew, it's not as present as I want it to be, but it is definitely, it's definitely there. You really only feel it, in my opinion, I only feel it on the exhale is what I'm, uh, concluding. Like you can feel the, a little bit of the lemon on the inhale, but when it comes to lemon, a, uh, a good lemon vape flavor is hard to find. 
Um, cause lemon is such a, you want it to be sour. You want it to be sweet. Uh, lime is definitely a better between the two and you can feel that a little bit. It's, uh, it's pungent. Like you can feel it in the back of your throat, um, on the tip, on the, on the middle part or the tip of your tongue. Um, so for the flavor, it would definitely be around the, uh, the seven or eight out of 10 area. I agree. Um, so in total, I will give Vapor Shops Do the Do. Um, I'll give it a seven and a half out of 10. Uh, it's definitely fair. Um, soda flavors are uh, iffy. You can find some that are really good and you can find some that'll just give you bubbles. Also, I'd like to know, I have like a tingly feeling on like my teeth, but that might have, that might just be because I've been, whoa, <laughs> this fucking day. <laughs> Cause I've been vaping all fucking day and I'm a noob, so. Really. Yeah, definitely. It's definitely really cool. Uh, just in your mouth, even it comes in hot and then it leaves cool. Um, so that's the more crispness of the bubbles coming out. Yeah, so uh, definitely solid seven and a half out of ten. Yep. All right, guys. So this has been our review for the Vapor Shops Do the Do Mountain Dew flavor. Um, special thanks to my roommate Billy for agreeing to be in the video with me. Um, that's all I have today. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, check out all my other videos. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Vape Nation, y'all.